Welcome to the All America Print Supply Motor Speedway, and I feel the need, the need for speed. You may have seen recently, we conducted a speed analysis, sort of a race between three different direct-to-film printing options, three different images, about letter size each. Now it's time to raise the stakes and up the ante. This is gonna be battle of the 24 inch direct-to-film roll printers. We're gonna ask the question, is bigger faster? We'll be taking a look at the differences between four print heads versus two and see how these guys stack up. Now for today's test, we are gonna be running six different images about 12 inches in size. Now the reason we're choosing these size of images and this quantity is to better show the proper speed analysis, show what these machines are truly capable of and answer the question, is bigger faster? What's the best choice? Stay tuned to find out. Let's take a look at our contestants. This is the latest offering in the Prestige Direct-to-Film printing line, the latest XL2. And over there, that monstrous four-headed direct-to-film printer imported, you may have seen familiarly sold by some of our competitors online, shall remain nameless. Oh my gosh, that's a huge printer. Why aren't you curious about the specs under the hood? With the latest direct-to-film printer in the Prestige line, we're gonna be running high resolution, 720 by 1800. And it's also powered by CadLink. And lastly, this four-headed monster of a 24-inch direct-to-film printer, which you may have seen sold at competitors' websites, shall remain nameless. We'll be printing these at 720 by 1800 DPI. It's also gonna be running the CadLink software, just like the previous model. Ready, set, go. All right, let's take a look at these race results here. Coming in at three minutes and 18 seconds, the Prestige XL2. And coming in at three minutes and 31 seconds, the four-headed imported direct-to-film machine. It's worth noting, start time begins from when it actually started printing for each machine, and we did not calculate any queue up time or image processing. For this speed test, we chose larger graphics to more accurately depict the production output these printers are capable of. Which one is right for me? This should definitely be a matter of your production demands and how much volume we need to keep up with. How much of an investment are we prepared to work with financially? Huge factor here. It's always important to scale our business within our means. All right, there we have it. Let's take a look at these results. Let's take a look at the Prestige XL2. By far and away the fastest competitor in this race, and it's gotta be thanks to the dual printed system under the hood of the machine. Now, before we started, we wanted to ask the question, is four print heads better than two? Well, the results of this test show that is not the case. The imported machine over here that you've seen maybe possibly sold by our competitors came in at a little bit of a different pace. That's gonna be because the efficiency of this was more evenly distributed across two print heads versus four. One thing to be concerned about when you're going with an imported option is definitely gonna be warranty and support. These are things you're gonna want if you're building your business with these equipments. So what's so great about the latest offering in the Prestige Direct-to-Film line? Let's talk about it. First of all, take control of your production speed by running dual Epson i3200 print heads under the hood of the machine. And if we look at this compact design, it's relatively unheard of for a printer to have two heads in the machine. Next up, we didn't even talk about the head strike sensor yet. If there is any incidental contact, production will halt, which is a great way to prevent any possible damage to the internals of the printer. And lastly, we can enjoy high resolution prints with an output of 720 by 1800 DPI. Now what about this ginormous four-headed direct-to-film roll printer here? First off, if you notice, the footprint is considerably larger even though it's still only a 24-inch output. When you have huge machines, it's usually a sign of older technology under the hood of the printer. What's more is, these are typically gonna require a lot more hands-on maintenance, which also includes lubricating part of the internals on a tri-monthly basis. We hope you were able to take away from today's speed test that bigger printers don't necessarily mean bigger production and more print heads well, sometimes that could just mean more maintenance. There are a number of factors to consider when you're building your business with these different equipment choices, and we can't forget about components, such as warranty and after purchase support. Remember, these are gonna be the building blocks of how we build our business. For more information on any of the products or processes we've gone over today, you can go ahead and check the links in the description down below. There's a comment section down there also for any questions you may have. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that red subscribe button and drop some thumbs up if you found this video useful or informative. That's pretty much going to wrap it up for today. My name is Estevan. We are All American Print Supply. We'll see you on the next one.